Hey, this is Brad Stein, and welcome to The Mind of Brad Stein. It's a little bit of a adventure where I try to show people how comedy is created. Um, what I try to do is I come up with a concept, and then I'm just going to freeform it, and let's see if something funny can be found. Um, that way you can see how comedy works. Uh, for example, I was just out working out, uh, running down the road, and my hands were really cold, and I thought to myself, gee, I wish I had something to cover up my hands, and you know what? They actually have those things. They're called mittens. You know why they call them mittens? Because these used to be called your mitts. Put up your mitts. And somebody said, let's have mittens, which is like a jacket for your hands. You put them on, keep them warm. Then again, we have something called gloves. What does gloves mean? Mittens, I understand. They're for my mitts. Gloves means like they're trying to confuse you. It's a glove. What does it go on? Not your mitts. Doesn't make any sense. Sounds like the guy was upset because he invented these things for your mitts and mittens was already taken. He got mad and said, forget it. I'll just call them gloves. Then see if people can figure out what to do with them. You see, this is what is wrong with America. We don't use the words properly. Like I said, I was working out. But you know what? A lot of times when I'm exercising, I'm working in. Shouldn't we call it that? Let's go working in. But then again, to work, you get paid. I don't get paid for exercising. Matter of fact, if somebody makes you do something like work and you don't get paid, it's like slavery. So maybe we should call it slavery out. But then again, if you choose to exercise like I do, even though it is work and you're not getting paid, it's a choice. Consequently, it's more like being an indentured servant. So maybe we should say, let's go indentured servant out. Unless you're inside, then let's go indentured servant in. But it's so long and it takes so much effort that it's really like work. So let's just call it working out. Unless you're inside, then we'll say, let's go working in. And if your hands get cold, let's use mittens. Now, was any of that funny? No. Was any of that interesting? Not really, but what it did show was what is called extemporaneous. I just took an idea and started freeforming it. It's kind of like jazz for your mind. And sure enough, there might have been some funny things there, some funny ideas. But it shows how comedy works. Take an idea, find words, and start exploring it. Of course, if you find that you're not able to do this kind of thing, it's because you're not gifted. <laughs> Which is why you pay to see me. Anyways, that's just another adventure in the extemporaneous word of the brain of Brad Stein. Perhaps we'll do more down the road. See ya.